Anyway, tonight, what we're talking about is prophets like Hosea and Amos. We're going to go through uh, not just Hosea and Amos, but I'm going to try to limit that for tonight so I don't get overzealous. Um, and many of you have already heard us teach through Hosea and Amos, so those verses are going to be familiar. But what I'm picking out is just those where they're speaking to their generation and they're, they're describing the generation. And the reason we're doing this is to see if their words sound like you're speaking to our generation, our culture right now. What we're studying is not the book of Hosea, not the book of Amos, not the Minor Prophets. We're doing that on Tuesday night. We've done that for the last several years. What we're doing now is looking at where are we at in time. And I'm making the suggestion through these these studies, these presentations, that we are in the fourth generation starting in 1880. We've now progressed into the fourth generation. We're in the midst of the fourth generation, the Hamas generation, the generation of violence, of social oppression, the generation where the elite rise up and they drive the, the middle class into poverty uh, and, and create social justice. All the institutions are perverted into the benefit and control of the elite uh, for their own advantage. And then God will then intervene as we near the end of this generation and overthrow the culture and it cause a reset. It's his way of controlling history. It began after the flood. Uh, we, we see it several times. We see it happening to the Canaanites or the Ammonites uh, with them being warned. Uh, uh, and, 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 uh, um, and then, of course, to Judah, Samaria, and then Jerusalem again. And so what we have right here on this chart, and again, many of you are familiar with this, at the top of the page is just the the, uh, the timeline at the bottom, you've got the prophets Amos, Jonas, Micah, Isaiah, Hosea, Nahum, Zephaniah, Jeremiah, and Habakkuk. 